Hey my friends, welcome back to a new video. Today we'll be talking about clear signs you can recognize in your present life that your higher self is guiding you into a higher density, into a fifth dimensional experience of life, greater love and more freedom. So many of you are feeling this right now. Many of you may be feeling like a great separation is happening. We've been talking about the split in one of my previous videos. And the split is also being experienced in our lives. Like the way that uh, we feel confused. Should I be following my calling? Should I be completely following this heartfelt desire? Or should I still stay at my job and, you know, kind of find the balance in between two different paths? And it's really about being patient and noticing how your calling is slowly evolving and also how circumstances at your job or at your business, maybe you're in a f position where you're maybe letting go of the old business and starting something new. It's something I've noticed at many people that I've been working with. Many people are experiencing this kind of separation right now. like. Some years ago, they've started following their deeper calling, a certain sense that they felt for a long time they wanted to do, but around two years ago, they couldn't resist to it anymore. How many of you feel like that? Please write in the comment section to see how many people are feeling like that. But at the same time, you still need to take care of your daily responsibilities and maybe this calling thing, this passionate project that is maybe turning into a business or whatever it is, is still not as evolved as you would like it to be. You need to kind of find balance between the old lifestyle and the new one. And you may be somewhere in between. Know that it's completely okay if you find yourself like that. It's You're being guided. And during this time, even if you may feel confused, also deep inside you also feel calm and quite grounded and you know it's okay. Your mind may be saying things should be happening much faster, but inside your heart you feel free. You feel a sense of freedom and that's a sign that you're on the right path. So I always remind you to follow the feeling, to notice how something makes you feel and that's how you know if that is the right thing. So I want to give you nine signs that you can recognize at this point that your higher self is guiding you. So your higher self, many of you already know what it is. It's your eternal beingness, your inner self, the highest possible version of yourself that is guiding you through the process of ascension so more of yourself can integrate at this time to be of service, to be an example, to be a leader, to be a teacher, to be a being of light so you can also guide others. And you also need to know that um, any work that resonates with you is a source of guidance and healing for others. It's not just a spra a spreading a message. It's also maybe making music or making art or or any kind of a you know path you find yourself at if you are doing it with joy with bliss it's healing it has a very great healing effect on others so the first sign you will notice that you're ascending that your higher self is guiding you into this higher density where you feel more connected more free and and more in tune with everything is a sense of being changed. You may feel a deep sense of being changed. Like you may notice things are different than they were. Your intuition is stronger. You may easily kind of discern between the things in your life, like what's the truth, what's false. You may easily sense what is right. And it's also much easier for you to kind of calm your impulses to kind of notice okay my body is adapting to this new energy if you feel like that 
This is a great change that is happening. That's how you know that your higher self is guiding you. A sense of being changed. And it's actually very important to notice that because your mind may still trick you that things are not happening fast enough or changes are not happening or manifestations are not, you know, coming in as fast as you would like. There's many tiny manifestations that are happening daily, almost on moment by moment basis. And if you see them and appreciate them, you will feel more calm in your heart until bigger ones can happen. The second sign is that um, you're going or you went through a heavy challenge recently. Or maybe you've been through more very heavy challenges in your life recently. It's a sign that your higher self is guiding you. Usually on an energetic standpoint, challenges are like activations. They activate you because they firstly challenge your belief system. Suddenly your life is not going as it did before. So it's firstly a shock to your habitual self. Then it's a shock to your perception because suddenly things are not going as smooth as they went before. And usually we need to find a new perspective. So it means we need to take a new path. That's why challenges are so important and you need to be very loving and kind towards yourself when you're moving through challenges because again, your mind may trick you that there's something wrong with you or that you've done a mistake. Sometimes if you think you've done a mistake in the past, try to reflect on this moment from the past and ask yourself, would you do it differently if It would happen again, would you do it differently? Just to reassure, because most of the time if you've made choices from your heart, most probably you would do the same. Which means a challenge actually activated you. Your higher self is guiding you and it's kind of reassurance. Even though in this (laughs) physical experience you may feel alone and you may feel like uh, it's really everything up on you, From these higher realities, um, you're really not alone. You're being guided and you're being supported. And sometimes when it becomes overwhelming, just retreat in your own beingness. A video that I've shared with you before this one can maybe help you a little bit to, to, you know, with that. Even though I'm sure you already know as you're quite evolved, quite wise, you already know how to retreat in your heart. Like detaching a little bit from your daily activities, from your emotional impulses, from your mental activities, and just find this inner quietness. Maybe nature can help you with that. So you can see that all the challenges are actually activation, so you can become a a stronger and brighter light in this realm right now. The third sign is mood shifts. Your higher self is helping you to ascend your frequency. It's helping you to level up your game. And often it's happening like for a moment you experience this higher frequency and great joy, great sense of freedom, and then you lose it. And you get it and you lose it. So those are mood shifts, right? In different emotional states, we think different thoughts. So it's quite a game sometimes, you know? You think very positively about life, you have a very different perception, and then you fall down into a lower state, and again, you have more negative perception. It's really a game. And when you're experiencing many mood shifts, try to center yourself and relax and um, find... Find a, find a place where you can truly relax in a certain, you know, moment of a day where you need maybe a nap or a meditation or just some grounding. And also what will help you a lot is clarity, writing down what you want, what you need to do. Because when we are going through this mood shift, sometimes it's like For a certain period of time, we know exactly what we need to do. And for a certain period of time, we feel completely lost and unmotivated and uninspired. So when you feel more down, it doesn't mean you shouldn't do what you said that you will do. So therefore, if you have clarity, like if you've written down what you wanted to do, it will be much easier for you to flow through these shifts and to 
keep doing the things that you are prioritizing at this point. Know that this is how your higher self is guiding you through this ascension journey and it's completely okay if sometimes you're feeling down. Be sometimes more gentle with yourself. Accept also this darker part of you. It's still a part of you and it's slowly, you know, enlightening. You're becoming more familiar with all different aspects of yourself. So be kind towards all of yourself because still there are many dark parts of you that you may be blaming or maybe hiding or maybe being scared of. When you become more loving towards these parts of you, these mood shifts will become less intense because now there's not so much density in you anymore because of your acceptance. This is a very powerful thing you're being guided right at this point to do, to ascend your frequency. The fourth sign is that you feel a very deep calling for introspection. It's like almost out of nowhere you feel, oh, right now I want to reflect a little bit. Right now I want to distance myself from people. I want to go into solitude a little bit. You may even feel called to go to travel alone, like on a solo trip. So you can reflect a little bit more and think about everything, what's going on in your life, what you like, what you don't like, what is more aligned with you and what is less. Just to see, you know, if you're happy with how everything is going. Happiness, again, is this great indicator that shows to you where certain alignments can take place. And then you can also use intentions like help me to, to see more clearly what is the right choice for me or help me to see more clearly what I should do here or just help me to calm my nervous system if you feel like that or help me to see what my past taught me that I'm still not noticing and just see how events in your life are showing up because sometimes the things that are the most triggering to you may be actually messages and signs for you that are teaching you what you've been asking for. So even though you may be triggered for certain answers and messages, try to learn from them anyway. That's how you grow. The fifth sign that your higher self is guiding you into a higher density is that you feel very aligned with synchronicities. Like almost every single day feels very, very aligned, like so many synchronicities and not just numbers and this kind of simple things. But people are showing up and message comes to you. Even at the times you feel disconnected, the right message finds you, the right thoughts find you, the right feelings sometimes find you. Like you may be lost and completely unmotivated and then a thought find you like, I need to go into nature. This is a synchronicity that happens in your mind like it's sometimes like a message from somewhere else for you so you would know what to do and sometimes it's a song right you hear a music that says exactly what you needed to hear if you feel like you're being more aligned with synchronicities all these signs are only showing you that you're making a great change in your vibrational frequency. Every time you start changing your energy, these things start happening, synchronicities start happening, kind of to, to give you some proofs and signs that you are ascending, that your energy is changing. Very beautiful. So if you're noticing them, also express some gratitude. Like when you're ending your day, Sit down and write a little bit about what synchronistically happened today because more you're noticing them, more they will be showing up and you will notice that actually you're communicating with the universe all the time. You're speaking with the universe all the time. So practice this a little bit more. The sixth sign is letting go of the attachment. Your higher self is often giving you this sense it's time to let go. It's time to let go. If you feel attached to money, if you feel attached to certain people, if you feel attached to your work, often you will experience just the opposite of what you want because your higher self knows that so many 
Great things that you actually want to experience can come to you when you let go of attachment. When you stop trying to control so much and you actually open up to everything that can enter into your life. So many times, you know, when you're being um, maybe too attached to certain things, exactly the opposite will start happening. And that's when you can notice it as a great um, sign that it's time to let go and and just see what happens if you don't try to control it so much and actually accept whatever is present. And please don't get me wrong here when I say accept what is present. It doesn't mean that you shouldn't keep working on it or you shouldn't keep setting goals for it. Acceptance often means that uh, you just stop trying to change what is already being manifested. You focus on the work you will do for the future manifestations, but you don't try to change what is already present, right? Because what is present is actually a product of your past, but what will come will be the product of your present behavior, present thoughts, present feelings, and less you're attached, more free you feel. So if you imagine yourself being completely free, see how would you look on all these things from a freedom standpoint. Just reflect a little bit on this. The seventh sign that your higher self is helping you to ascend right now is that you're feeling like sometimes out of nowhere intense energies. And intense energies, I mean, like sometimes a rush of inspiration comes to you or a rush of very high joy comes to you or a rush of interesting curiosity for a book that you've read in the past and there's maybe something you've forgotten. Like this kind of kind of unexpected things that just happen out of nowhere. This is you know, how these energies work. It's very beautiful interference sometimes. So if you're experiencing this kind of intense energies out of nowhere, well, <laughs> appreciate that because this is what helps you to also clear your energy field, to kind of purify it. And sometimes if it happens like you're being guided towards certain book or towards certain information, Go ahead and grab it and see if maybe if you open it completely spontaneously, what will you find there? Try it out because you will be amazed usually how much more connected you actually are than you think you are. Many of you think, oh, I'm not so connected, I'm not so wise. But actually, if you follow these um, synchronistic events, you may notice that What's really the fact is that you've been never disconnected. You've most probably ignored signs, but if you pay attention to them and kind of follow them, you notice that you've been never disconnected. You've been always guided and therefore you can notice that everything that happened in your life happened for a reason. And that's what helps us to let go of certain grief and let go of anger or certain frustration or fear because we notice everything happened so divinely. The eighth sign is that you experience this kind of a connection, which is often called as unity consciousness. Like sometimes you may be sitting outside in the nature, maybe sitting on a beach and you just feel connected with the ocean, all the waves. You just feel like you're you're working same way, like sometimes you go higher, sometimes you go lower. It's all a motion, it's all a flow. You feel connected with trees, you feel connected with roots, you understand all the root system under the ground. And sometimes it, you know, out of nowhere, you experience all of that. It's like getting glimpses, your higher self is giving you glimpses, like what life truly, how life truly feels like just to see you're so much more connected so you would notice that you matter like life without you would not be how it is you matter nature doesn't waste any energy therefore you're here with an incredible reason purpose and therefore you matter and that's how your higher self is very lovingly giving you this sign of 
how much you matter every time you experience this kind of a connection. So enjoying it and maybe reawaken it more frequently. But what's also important is to know how to also experience the opposite of that. Because many times more empathic people that feel more connected with everything can also be more hurt because of that, because they sense pain of others. So there is also important to kind of master your energy in a way that you can also kind of disconnect from everything when you want and feel as a separate individual when you need to. Like, you know, you can expand your field, like if you would be imagining or visualizing expanding your aura and then you also kind of lower it down and really call all your ba energy back into yourself and and feel completely individually here. That, that, that will help you so much to protect your energy when you don't feel or you don't want to feel connected with everything, like when you're more in crowded places and so on. This is a very important work. And then the last sign I want to give you that your higher self is currently guiding you into a higher density is that you feel much more mature in your body emotionally, mentally. You feel many, many results of your inner work. You feel much more creative. Therefore, whatever you're doing, it can be a business, it can be your creative projects, it, it can be any kind of a help or service. You feel like you're solving problems so much more smoothly. You're very creative. You're becoming more creative. Uh, you're getting this new way or new view of life or new way of um, how could you live your life. So much more clarity is taking place in you. It's all a sign of integration of this higher energy coming into your body. And it's sometimes like it's a flow or kind of jumping between incredible clarity and playfulness and then confusion and overwhelming until all these energies can slowly balance and you become really good at um, maintaining them, nurturing them and kind of guiding yourself through all this process. So what I want you to know is to really choose to live in trust, Tr choose to live in love, in an open heart and choose to live in freedom, like embody freedom. What freedom, like how freedom would treat your finances? Not like spend it completely freely, but how would you think about it? Just, you know, simple thoughts. How would you think about it? How would you look at it? How would you look at the relationships? How would you look at any circumstances from a freedom standpoint? Right? So I hope you found great value in today's message, my friends. I'm sending you lots of love blessings and power thanks to everyone for joining our patreon page where i'm sharing more practical steps and workshops and also thanks to everyone for supporting my art in our store attractpassion.com and our etsy store i draw my passion so check it out my friends until next time one love Hey, my friends, I hope you've enjoyed in today's video. I want to remind you that we've just opened a fresh new store called attractpassion.com where you can find all of my work, original paintings. You can find prints of all of my art in different sizes. So go there and check it out, attractpassion.com. If you will use the code PASSION15, PASSION15, you will get 15 off onto your first order. So go there and check it out. And to anyone who would love to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, I'm offering one-on-one -on -one coaching. We have some free spots once again. You can go and check out the link in the description of this video where you can find everything there. So go and check it out. If you would like to do something with the inspiration that you feel right now, it will help you so much to transform your life. I want you to do something with it. If you feel inspired, you have to do something with it. So my friends, till next time, one love.